Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about context-free grammar to push-down automata. We know that push-down automata accepts context-free language. And context-free language is generated by context-free grammar. Then, if a context-free grammar is given to us, then we can construct a push-down automata which will accept the language generated by this context-free grammar. Now suppose there is a context-free grammar G described by the quadruple VDPS. Now we have to construct a push-down automata M. M will accept the language generated by context-free grammar G by empty stack. So how we will construct a push-down automata M which will accept the language generated by this context-free grammar G by empty stack. First of all, we will convert this grammar G into GNF. Push down automata M will have only one state that is Q. Right? It will have only one state. Push down automata M will have only one state. And the start symbol of grammar G will be the stack start symbol in push down automata M. All variables of grammar G will be stack symbols of push down automata M. And all terminals of grammar G will be input symbols of push down automata M. Now, since we have converted the context-free grammar G into GNF, so its all productions will be in this form. A derives A gamma, where gamma is a either a string of variables or empty string, right? Gamma will either be a string of variables or empty string. Now, for each production, a derives a gamma of grammar G. We will make a transition delta Q A A equals to Q gamma in push down automata M. Right? It would be more clear after this example. Suppose there is a context free grammar G in GNF. It is described by the quadruple V T P S. Right? And P is the set of these productions. These are the productions in grammar G. Right? S is the start symbol of grammar G. Now we have to construct a push down automata M which will accept the language generated by this grammar G by empty stack. First of all, push down automata M will have only one state Q, right? The start symbol S of grammar G will be stack start symbol in push down automata M. The start symbol of uh, grammar G will be stack start symbol in push down automata M and all variables of G will be stack symbols of push down automata M and all terminals of grammar G will be input symbols in push down automata M. Now See this production as derives a 
a2 right for this production we will add a transition in push down automata m that is delta q a s equals to q a 2 right now for this production as derives a a3 we will add a transition delta q a s equals to q a3 in push down automata m and for this production a2 derives a a2 a3 we will add a transition delta q a a2 equals to q a2 a3 in push down automata m and for this production a2 derives a a3 a3 we will add this transition in push down automata m delta q a a2 equals to q a3 a3 and for this production a3 derives b we will add this transition delta q b a3 equals to q empty in push down automata m so in this way we can construct a push down automata for a context free grammar thank you very much